Looking for something? Mariner. The tannery? You find my tools yet? Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. Damn those feral ghouls. And damn the island for sending them after Petey. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant! Ha <laughs> ha! I bet the island didn't see that coming. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. I think I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. Here's another 100 caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster, mean as spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, Holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Front, dock and back. Brooks is a mainlander too. And a synth, whatever that is. Avery. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. Need something? What's the penalty for murder in Far Harbor? We're too independent to really have laws, but if a murder can be proven, tradition is the culprit's executed. Extreme, but it keeps the peace. What's your opinion of Dima? We don't see him that often. He seems... 
pious, I guess. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way around here. So I'm glad he keeps to the observatory. Why? I have proof that Dima killed the original Captain Avery. Here. I... but that's... my locket. It, it was lost in a fire. The skull. It, it can't be. Listen, I, I'm me. I remember everything. I can't be a, a synth. You're wrong. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the evidence is conclusive. You need to accept it. I... I... It's true, isn't it? It's true, isn't it? I'm a synth. Do you have any idea what it's like to learn? Everything you know, everything you believe, is a lie. If you're lying to me, this is your one chance to come clean. Understood? I am... Well, I feel like I am, Captain Avery. If I'm a synth, they made me believe I'm her. I don't know why. My whole world's been turned upside down, too. Friends family. I understand. At least you know you're you. Your tragedies are yours and mine. The only thing I can do now is live the way I believe is right. Dima is a murderer and a liar, and he should pay. But if you share this with anyone here, especially Alan Lee, many innocent people will suffer. Far harbors on the edge. This will just push everyone right over it. Confront Dima. If you can make him pay, do so. But please, keep that evidence a secret. I'll keep your secret, Avery. This isn't justice. It's mercy you've done here. Everyone in Far Harbor and Acadia owes you dearly. Captain. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you, if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer.
that it's an option. Hey, you Mariner. Stand up to the children. Those tools you found are a joy to work with. It gave me this idea. A cargo freighter founded ages ago. To the south. 
With a bit of arc welding and some elbow grease, the hull could be reinforced to be sturdy. Fierce. Best to do it soon. Before... Well, soon. Why does it need to be soon? I... That's not a matter for you. Just... The hull needs fixing. Come on. I'm one of the few people that helps out around here. So, why the time pressure? Fine. Fine. Doc Teddy? Well, I have a condition. Terminal. No cure. Where'd you get that out? When I take the long walk, I can't count on anyone else keeping the hull in good repair. So, it's best to get her ready before then. Is there really no cure? Even in the old days, plenty of diseases were never beat. And this... Well... Teddy sent word to some mainland doctors, with my charts and all. Only heard back regrets. I can't imagine what you're going through. If there's any way I can help... Ah... I've shed my fill of tears on this. But we've got business to be about. The ship's the MS Azalea. Expect trappers, mean ones. Once you mop the decks with them, I'll send my crew over. Best of luck. What you showed me earlier, keep it to yourself. Terrible things could happen if others saw it. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you... find Howard? He died, trying to get those condensers fixed. The man is a hero. Yes. Yes, he is. I'll make sure we remember him as such. Well, I said it was paying work. Two hundred caps should be enough. Captain, nobody's gonna want to help you out, unless you're prepared to pay a fair wage. Well, I can't argue with that. I suppose I could spare a little more. I can give you 250 caps. Keeping everyone supplied with water is worth a lot more than that. You drive a hard bargain, Mainlander. I'll give you 300 caps. Howard Dunbar died trying to get this job done. His life was sure as hell worth more than that. So is mine. You're squeezing blood from a stone, stranger. I can give you 400, but not a cap more. Now here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. You need it? Every Great day, job, Scott. another harbor man leaves the island. Protect your loved ones with my fine hand cannons. <clears throat> you are a curious specimen. Despite our friendly town doing its best to chase you out, you keep helping us ingrates all the same. I've got to ask, why do you keep at it? You're good people in some dire straits. Figured you could use a hand. Huh? <laughs> you running for office? Well, if that's the truth, we don't deserve you. Most folk here are set in their ways, yes? It makes no difference how hard you try to get in good with them. Heck, it took my family three generations before the Daltons would sell us a heel of bread. But there's a way, a downright insane way, mind you, that you can turn even the most stubborn fool around. I'd love to change their opinion of me. Do it right, and all mainlanders might get treated better. In olden times, leaders were chosen by something called the Captain's Dance. Legends say the toughest, meanest, and outright craziest hopefuls would chum the waters and lure out the worst the island could throw at them. Once the would-be captain killed the Myrler Queen, or Fog Crawler, or what have you, they'd invite the whole island to feast off the bounty. You do this, well, you won't be made captain, but you'll earn respect. Everyone's respect. I'm ready to become a legend, then. You what? <laughs> you crack me up. There's an old mire lurk feasting grounds by Emmett's Causeway, a treacherous stretch along the coast. Go there and throw any kind of meat you got into the water. 
All that blood and viscera will be sure to attract attention. And then wait. I'll make sure there's a witness or two. Prove to the rest of these clods you belong. I lost my home. Alan. When the fog huh. in. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I am the one that saved all your asses. So, yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is that they were as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. You've been... Uh, all right, so far. Here, for your, uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. I'll take a look. You got it. Is that a pip boy? I've heard about those. Old Longfellow knows what he's about. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm is yours. Your own little piece of the island. It'll take work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. Surely a heroic Avenger deserves more than 200 caps. I can agree to that. Here's another 100 caps. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. Wait, did you just call someone else crazy? <laughs> that is priceless. What? I don't get your meaning. Ugh, never mind that. Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Hey, could you keep it down? Some of us are trying to fish here. Mm. Well, hello. What makes you think I want to talk to you? Don't talk to Berth.
I am 100% screwed. Damn this fog. You'd think a lighthouse would be easy to find, but not this. Never seen fog like it. Can't believe I let myself get talked into this. How do I know that woman wasn't crazy? I'm starting to think her whole story was some fantasy she cooked up to get attention. <laughs>
Everyone, everyone, times are hard, but this here feast is proof that we can turn things around. Now I know mainlanders have been responsible for all manner of harm, but this one is special. This one did the captain's dance. So in my book, he's not a mainlander anymore. He's one of us. Yeah! Mainlander. Captain's dance. Wow. Hey, Doc. If these knuckleheads don't trust you now, well, fuck them, Rack. I expect folk will be more talkative now. Might even have some more work for you. Maybe hit up Mitch at the last plane. Seriously. Thanks, Teddy. You are the most peculiar main person 
I've ever had the occasion to meet. Take this. And, if you're inclined, socialize. It's your party after all. Children bastards! You were right, Alan. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost, all those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you, an outsider, a mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I found a holotape from the last guy you sent to the lighthouse. He thought your whole story was a lie. Is it? A lie? No, no. It was true. Or at least, there was truth in it. Was there a little harmless exaggeration as well? Perhaps. But some things are more important than truth. Look at you, for instance. You've seen the island's dangers and survived. You've learned something valuable. What's more, the island learns something, too. It knows you're not some greenback mainlander who can't tell up from down in the fog. The island will respect you now. And that's more than I can say for most who step off the boat. I'm just glad it's over. If I'd have kept going, there wouldn't be anything left alive on this island. <laughs> I have no cause to doubt you. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for... Oh, let me think. Oh, for at least a generation or two. There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well pass on to you. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. You carry this, and it'll take you seriously. And that's it. That's the end. I can sleep easy now, knowing there won't be any unfinished business when they put me in the ground. Off you go now. My story's over, but yours... I think yours is only just getting interesting. The MS Azalea is good to go. I'll send the work crew over. Listen, I haven't told no one except the doc about my condition. If your offer of help is still open, I could use some advice. I'm thinking of casting off once the hull's done. Slip out in the middle of the night. But as much as these ingrates drive me to distraction, for the life of me, I don't know why I even told you in the first place. Your friends would want to help you, spend time with you before the end. <laughs> you don't know my friends very well. You've been of help. I won't forget it. Off with you now. I've work to do. Bertha. Mister. I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I may be able to help, but I don't want your caps. They're right about you, they say. But if you help, you'll get paid. Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. 
That's a surprisingly grown-up request. The fog's out to kill us all. Kids included. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And owe you big. Please. Help. I, uh, you're kind of a big deal. Wow. Everyone, make way. Did you really kill the queen? The mariner said you did. Don't pester him, Debbie. Of course he did. Now this is what a badass looks like. I fear we had you all wrong. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Here's a round on the house. That's awfully friendly of you. We have mainlanders coming in and out all the time. Worst of a lot are thieves or murderers. And the others we find floating face down in the harbor. But not you. Mitch, I mean, since he did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. Sir, Mitch is too damn proud. But we're worried about Uncle Ken. If my family was in trouble, I'd do anything to help them. You hear that, Mitch? Even someone like him would ask for help. Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? And find some way to drag his hide back here? I'll pay, of course. The island's dangerous. My services won't come cheap. <sighs> If you look into it, I can throw some supplies in, to help in the fog. The plank ain't exactly flush with caps. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor center, inland. And look out, he loves his traps. Screaming by. 